BYU football excited about its defensive secondary, and nobody's more eager for the season opener than junior defensive back Trent Trammell. As BYU TV's Kathy Aiken shows us, Trent's healthy and ready to show off his stuff. It was a day Trent Trammell will never forget. January 13th of this year, he was cleared to get back on the football field. It was a long process, so it just felt good to be normal again and to do what I love to do. What he loves to do is play football, but it was all taken away on another day he won't soon forget, March 4th of last year, his first and only day of spring practice with the Cougars. So I'm just trying to show everyone what I can do. I mean, first when I catch it, I score, I'm feeling good, and then I catch the next one, I make a move, and then it just, it was a real change from there. His world changed in seconds. A torn ACL would sideline the BYU cornerback for the entire season, his first year with the Cougars. When I had to sit out, last year was like emotional for me. It was hard for me to do, because I've never been through it. I mean, you go from being athletic your whole life, running and jumping, and have that taken away from you. You start having doubts like, am I gonna be able to run again, jump again? So it was like a complete, like, it made me think about life. It also made Trammell think about life away from football and focus more on his education. He says he plans on graduating in December as a history major. Trammell said his injury had other added benefits. He watched more film than ever before, and he also thinks he's faster than last year's 4 5 40. I feel much more explosive uh, now than I did before. They say, like, when you go through the surgery, the whole rehab process, your whole body gets stronger. My whole body is just, like, stronger. Trammell has another motivation. His best friend Jordan Johnson is also recovering from a torn ACL and hopes the two will be together on the field this year. I feel like we're going to make history this year and I get to play with my best friends, like family. I guess when you play with best friends, it, the chemistry is already there. Like we've been doing seven on seven and it's already there. It's clicking. So I can only imagine what it's like on game days. That day, August 29th at Connecticut, a day this junior has had circled on his calendar since his knee gave way last March, a day he's certain he'll always remember. It'll probably be emotional for me because I came so far and, you know, I got so much far, so much where to go. Like, it'd be, it'd be in my, I'll probably cry. I'll cry. Yeah. Kathy Aiken, BYU TV Sports. Man enough to cry. Thanks, Kathy. Also on Trent's calendar is the word interception written next to each game on the fall schedule. But he has two interceptions next to the final game against Cal. Initially, he wanted to stay home and play in Berkeley, but the Bears passed on him after his junior college career. And now he is all BYU.